tonight, a worldwide investigation into the evil and destructive ways of a self-proclaimed messiah, a charismatic Australian whose devoted disciples believe he walked this earth 2,000 years ago. My name's Alan John Miller, but, but I'm, I'm actually Jesus. I remember all of the events of my crucifixion. I understood what was going on. I understood the reason for my death. And he's collecting disciples. Miller has convinced them that they were with him at his crucifixion. I went to get the spike and smash it into his hands and just so much love that had come from him, so I couldn't do it. It was excruciating to watch basically the annihilation of the person that I love the most. <laughs> Whenever I think about him now, I just cry. I'm starting to have a soul, like an emotional realisation of who he is. I'm, yes. So, did you walk on water? No. Did you um, raise Lazarus from the dead? Yes. So are you saying that you did some sort of miracles, mm -hmm. but not other s sorts? Um, there's a few miracles in the Bible I didn't do, but the rest... Of, the rest you did? The rest I did. Like, but most of the miracles involving recovery of people's sight, the recovery yes. of their limbs. But the walking on water is one of the ones I didn't do. Yes. Um, the, another one that I didn't do was turning the uh, water into wine. You didn't? So you couldn't, uh, you couldn't give us a, a, a nice little shot. You want a job now, do you? <laughs> no. No? No. I think you are at the early stages of becoming a cult leader. Well, <laughs> I don't I see how I can be a cult leader when I ask everybody to actually engage their own desires. You're on the way, AJ. You are beginning to... Look, you're beginning to, to, to gather all the means of control to yourself. You, uh, you are the only source of knowledge within the group. Oh, you are separate. That separa is not true at all. You are separating people away from their families. No, I'm not. How many people have I talked to? One of the questions I asked them was, what does your family think? Time after time, people now, are saying... Now, David, so read your Bible. What, what was said about me in the first century? Are you engage. Okay, what you does say, it say Jesus did in the first century? Yeah, that's right. Say it. Yeah, but well, Jesus said that your greatest enemy would be your family. Well, why do you think that I said that in the first century? But that's not you, and you are not Jesus. No, that's your opinion. The official coming of the Son of God was in April 13, 2005. He was an obscure evangelist from the rural Philippines until 2005 when he announced that God had appointed him Christ on earth. His reward for a pure life. Sinful thoughts, uh, anger, lust, any of those things. You don't experience those on a daily basis? As a human being? Yes. I have all, already overcome all of those. There is no apocalypse in Kibaloi's message, no rapture or final judgment. Instead, he preaches that he is the model of Christianity. And as more people follow his example, God will gradually turn the earth back into the Garden of Eden. Do you perform miracles? For me, the greatest miracle is the changing of that spirit within. But healing the sick, the manifestations oh, yes, of Jesus' yes. powers, you, you, you're able to we do are, that? We have, we have healing. We you have are healing. Healing and miracles happening. After taking his place as the appointed son, Kibaloi's ministry has exploded. He claims to reach six million followers with his satellite TV network, numerous publications, private jet, and personal helicopter. All the... So how do you justify your, your lifestyle? I mean, your watch could probably feed 100 families for a month. If it's not God's will for me to have these things I have, yeah. you can take it away. It is God's will that, 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 that we follow. If it is God's will for us to live like this, you know, you can have a broken heart looking at me, but what can you do? But they get their understanding of the will of God from you. Yeah. And this, this nice young man wouldn't be holding this umbrella if he didn't believe the things you say. For us here, we see everything as a ministry. My talent is to preach. My talent is to be a leader. Not everyone can become a preacher or have been given a talent like me to go 
and lead the six million people. Right. But Jesus, when he, when he walked the earth, according to the Bible, uh, lived among lepers and prostitutes. I live among, among them. You have a private jet. I live among them. Before I had the you, private you're jet. You're in a walled compound with mansions. We, before this, I lived among the, these people. Like for example, that jet that you're talking about. Do you know that in 1983, I had the revelation of that jet? That the Lord is going to give me that. Yeah. It is him who gave me that. If it is not his will, how can I afford that? Well, <laughs> Kibaloy has been accused of kidnapping and brainwashing by the parents of at least one of his followers, but he was never charged. He insists that anyone is free to leave his flock and seal their fate for eternity. Will they go to hell? It's up to them. They know that. So that's your will, you know. If you want to go to hell, no one will stop you. If you want to go to heaven and follow this way, no one will stop you to Come work with you. Yeah. There are three possibilities here. You are so, either the son of God, or you're delusional, or you're a very successful con man. I respect your point of view. But I resent what you said that uh, your followers will say, I'm a con man with a speaking ability that I've tried to con people. That is not who I am. I'm not trying to con people. He enters this hotel conference room in Hartford, Connecticut, with a security team that rivals a head of state. An adoring audience greets him with calls of daddy and sings his praises. He is 60-year-old Jose Luis de Jesus Miranda from Puerto Rico, a preacher, an evangelist to be sure, but to his followers and in his own eyes, he's more than a man of God. Just ask him. I'm Jesus Christ, man, in front of you. That's right. He says he is the second coming. He claims in 1973 he had an epiphany. When Jesus, the resurrected Jesus, came to me, he integrated himself within me. So why you? I don't know. In the Two decades ago, that man was known as Sergei Antoilovic Tora, a 29-year-old patrol officer who suddenly had a revelation that his was the word of God. Conveniently, this realization happened right around the time the Soviet Union, a self-proclaimed nation of atheists, began to crumble and religion became an acceptable topic of discussion in Russia. Sorry, I'm speaking his way down. And just as Vasarian was about to share some infallible nuggets of wisdom, they made us turn off the camera. Sure. What if I actually had an audience with someone who is the word, and perhaps flesh, of God? Rocco. You're very Christ-like in your appearance. I'll say it this way. Do you have memories of, of, of Christ from... 2,000 years ago. Do, do you carry on in that way, in that lineage? That's probably as close to a yes as I was going to get. По версии следствия, в целях извлечения дохода от религиозной деятельности они привлекали денежные средства граждан. Также соучастники долгое время применяли к ним психологическое насилие, в результате которого некоторым последователям религиозной организации причинен тяжкий вред здоровью.